Hello and welcome to the next section of the Off The Track CAD tutorial. Today we'll be going through on how to model a front wing. So once again the first thing we're going to do is kind of model out the regulations. Uh, here I could have just used the regulations that I had modelled earlier, however I completely forgot about that and, and just decided to model that out using sketches. Um, once I did have a sketches set though around the models, I could then work out what the side profile of the front wing was going to look like. Uh, from I had an idea in my head, this is probably leading on from my car design at the World Finals, but I wanted there to kind of be a ramp to guide the air over the wheels. So I kind of used the top of the wheel as a good starting base. And uh, I wanted to make sure that, you know, there was a good amount of air that was being directed around the wheels, not just over. So I didn't put the front of the wheel. I didn't just put the ramp, the starting ramp of the wheel at the very bottom. Uh, I kind of put it midway between the center of the wheel and the track surface. So when I'm sketching the silhouette of the front wing, I'm being very careful to make sure that it's a very nice connection from the front wing to the nose, as we don't want to trip up the boundary layer. And so I'm making sure that the circles that I've got as the leading edge is roughly tangent to the line of the front nose. One of the things that I did do here, which I uh, did actually forget to change, but uh, hopefully you guys can change, is uh, that the underside of a front wing was actually increasing the surface area. So if you wanted to change that, you could actually uh, move the front wing higher. Now, I'm currently modeling the front pods, of which will be uh, housing the front wing as well. And so when I'm making kind of the ramps, that'll uh, kind of allow the air to move upwards and over the wheels. I am also making sure that the front wing will also be able to fit, uh, making sure that it's not going to intersect with that five millimeter of a clear airflow. Now, once the side profile sketch is done, I can pretty much just extrude that out and uh, pretty much just work from there by uh, connecting the front wing to the nose and uh, filleting the front pods as much as I need. Now, we've actually got to connect the front pod to the car and to do this, I'm getting the front wing to sweep down and then connect it to the front pod. But to make sure that this is a very nice smooth, I'm uh, kind of outlining the uh, wing on where it's going to go and uh, making sure that it's able to um, very nicely kind of join into the front pod. I'm uh, kind of butchering it a bit, but eventually I, I do get there because I forgot how maths works and uh, how a radius is two times the diameter and that the wing thickness was going to be uh, two millimeters. But once you've got all of that, you should uh, be able to get a really nice sweep that uh, joins the front wing to the front pods. Then you can go into a front view of the car and just kind of start sketching out your uh, your sweep path, uh, making sure you're adding a fillet to the to the place where the wing's going to curve downwards towards the front pod. Um, making sure you add a fillet there because, as as I said earlier, we don't really want to have any sharp corners in our car, so uh, this will reduce that. Now, kind of looking back on my Catalan modeling process during editing. I think I actually should have taken, uh, sorry, extruded that uh, front wing back a bit more because uh, after I did the sweep, I would have to delete a few faces, which does add to the timeline and thus does add more memory, which uh, makes it harder for the computer ha computer to handle. Now, if you want your front pod to be curved, you can then go underneath it, uh, do a spline sketch, and then just do a normal extrude. Um, this way, you can get a you can get a pretty nice, a pretty nice point on the uh, front pod. Uh, try not to extrude all the way upwards because then it will intersect with the front wing. You can always do a two, two part extrude where you extrude up once, get roughly halfway, then extrude up and uh, that time go all the way. Once you finish the front pod shape, you can then just uh, shell it and this will just re reduce the mass as normal. Um, I would actually ensure that when you do do the sweep for the front wing, you don't actually join the front pod and the wing. Uh, because then when you do shell, it makes it a lot easier to shell the body when it's separated to the, to the wing itself. So uh, after you have done the shell, you can then combine the wing and the front pod. And once you've done that, it's just been a case of uh, filleting, just making sure you've got no sharp, horrible corners. Yes, it would probably be a good idea now to save. And then to finish off the front wing, you can just mirror and combine it. And then you're done. And uh, this is the 
second to last tutorial. So the next tutorial is the final one. So I'm guessing, I don't think I need to guess, I will be seeing you in the next tutorial.